or I was born with um, diastrophic dysplasia, dwarfism. Um, and I also have scoliosis. And the scoliosis is so bad that um, it curves in such a way that the doctors actually thought that it would crush my lungs and my heart. And I would hear when I was smaller, you know, about the doctor saying, well, she might not live past six, or, you know, any day now could happen. And then that's when I kind of had to realize that doctors are great. You know, they have an assignment. They're, they're there to help. But God is the doctors of all doctors. And so I've had to rely on him and understand that, you know, while people might think that you can't do this, think that you cannot accomplish this, God is always telling me, Monique, you're here. I'm going to astound people through you, so let's do this. You know, I have someone who is, who is far beyond what I can even imagine, think, see, and he's been used through me. It's amazing. So why not devote my work back to the Creator? I feel like God is everywhere. You don't necessarily have to say Jesus Christ, bold and, and red and his blood color. You don't, you don't, I don't think, have to do that. Your work um, can be beautiful. Um, God is beauty. Anyone can look at it and say, hey, that's nice. And it can go from a conversation of design, of a conversation of creativity to knowing of my story, and then reading the bio and then seeing, hey, she's a believer. Okay, well, what does that mean? You know, I, I just look at all my attributes and all of, you know, what I'm made up of when I look in the mirror and, and say that, hmm, well, that may not be perfect. And then I kind of realized that God made me, not only in his image, but he, it's like he put a stamp of approval. And, you know, while I may say, this is not right, God is, is saying, yeah, I, I wanted you to be that way. And... There's a reason why. We're always trying to fix something, and a lot of times it's not meant to be fixed. And sometimes we break things, you know, because we're trying to fix it. You know, that's why we have depression. That's why we have people who have suicidal thoughts, because we're not living up to what man says is beautiful or what man thinks is right. What I believe is that because God created us in his image, we're all beautiful. You know, I, I definitely believe that I'm beautiful, I mean, even though everything may not be, you know, perfect. I'm his child, and of course I'm going to roll around with my head held high and, you know, just do what he wants me to do.